Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 10 under computer networks dealing with CSME. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Come let's go into the video. So what is CSME? It is Career Sense Multiple Access. So, from the word career sense multiple access, you can get the answer of what is CSME. That is, before the frames or data are formed in the receiver or sender side, the sender or receiver who is ready to send the frames to the other end, the, it senses whether the frames are not formed or not. Before sending it, first what it does? It senses whether the frames are from, formed or not. If it is formed, the sender is ready to send to the receiver. You remember this. Think before you speak. That is, people will say, before speaking, don't lose words. Think what you are going to speak clearly and then deliver your speech. Same wise, just like that, do not transfer the frame to the receiver end. First, sense whether the frame that is formed is ready for sending to the receiver end. And in CSMA, collision may occur. It is subjected to collision because two stations, that is the sender part, may sense the signal when it is idle and the same stations at different point may also sense the same that it is idle and it will start sending the frames. See, clearly I will explain you. Under CSMA, there is two types, persistent CSMA and non-persistent CSMA. That is, under persistent CSMA, the frames, that is the CSMA, what it does is, it retries immediately when the channel becomes idle. If the channel doesn't uh, send any frames or data, it will retry to send the data again and again. So, there will be obviously instability cost. Non-persistent CSMA is nothing but it will be transferring the data at a random interval of time. So, see here, you have two, three, four stations that is A, B, C and D. And they have mentioned that at what time the frame is sent from B and what time the frame is sent from C. Now see here, B starts at time T1. So now at time T1, the B, station B is sending a signal. What it does is, it senses that there is a frame formed at that time and it starts sending the signal. What it does is, from A, it is sending here. Now this C also has sensed some frame is formed and it also starts sending but at a different time interval. Now, how this collision will take place? I will tell you. To find that, there is a method, persistent method. This persistent method is divided into three types. One persistent, non-persistent and p-persistent. So, what does all these represent? See here, under one persistent, see this is the channel. Now, the channel is continuously sensing whether the frame is formed or not. So, it is said to be busy. It is actually continuously sensing whether the frame is formed or not. And as soon as it senses that the channel is idle, it starts transmitting the frame. This is I persistent. So, the same thing will be followed for all other station. So, if all other station follows the same, then transmitting of frames at the same time takes place and obviously collision will be at higher rate. In non-persistent method, what happens is, first it will sense, the channel will sense whether the frame is formed or not. After sensing, it will wait for a particular period of time. Maybe that is back of time. After waiting for a particular period of time, if it is not idle, it will keep on sensing and it will wait for some time again and if suppose if it finds that the channel is, uh, is idle 
then it start transmitting the frame to the other end so here when it is waiting no so the probably the different station will have different wait times not the same wait time will we will have so the transmitting uh, frames might not collide with each other so it is better when compared to one persistent and p persistent so here you can see the channel is continuously sensing now it divides the time into different slots so for one slot it is waiting why it is waiting is it is checking after continuous sense it is checking for the probability if the random number that is generated frames that is generated is lesser than the probability then what happens it is waiting for some time and it becomes greater that is it becomes great if it is greater than probability it will wait for some slot if it is lesser than probability then it will start sending the frame so when it is comparing with the probability and the random number generated but it no it will not be same for all the station so compared to one persistence and non persistence p persistence is very better to use hope you understood this function of persistent method now i will be telling how this flow chart of each method is done see this is one persistent frame is sent the channel is checking if it is idle the station starts trans transmitting the frame if it is not idle if it is false if it is busy then it again goes into the loop until it gives an idle value and only one thing will differ in non persistence that is the channel will have a random wait if it is idle it will transmit if it is not idle it will wait randomly for some amount of time and then again go for the check but in p persistence see first here the frame is sent now the channel is checked whether it is idle or busy busy again it will go into the loop if it is idle then it is checking for the probability if the probability is equal or lesser than the station can transmit the frame if it is greater than if the frame number of times the frame is sent is greater than the probability then it is again waiting for a slot time interval then again it is going for the channel to check whether it is busy or idle if it is busy it acts through the collision has occurred and start again it will tell that the collision has occurred and it will start again if it is idle then again it is going to the probability outcome it will choose a number random number it will check for the probability and again it will start functioning and vulnerable time the length of the time taken for collision so under csma the vulnerable time is equal to the propagation time because each and it senses first it senses it sig sends the signal it senses it sends the signal so when each and every station sensing at different time and sending the frames obviously some some or the other time each and every frames will collide each other so it will be equal to the propagation time got it hope you have understood this concept you have another two concept under the csma csma ca and csma cd you will be seeing that in the next video thank you